In today's activity, you're going to use what you know about energy to build a totally new kind of roller coaster. Let's imagine there's this carnival company called Acme Amusements. They've asked Annie, one of their best engineers, to come up with the idea for their new ride. Annie thought, well, we all know about roller coasters, which are awesome, but there's also bumper cars, which are also awesome. Why not combine these two rides? And so Annie designed a new invention she's calling the bumper coaster. Here's how it works. Riders sit in a car at the top of the hill, but instead of a traditional bumper car, this car can roll. They'll roll down the track, then bump into an empty car at the bottom of the hill. But Annie's got to deal with one big problem. The only place to build this bumper coaster ride is right next to an alligator infested swamp. Annie needs to find a way to make sure that the car with the rider doesn't end up as gator chow. So today, you'll make a model of the bumper coaster ride out of paper. Instead of cars, your model can use marbles like these. There will be a marble at the top of the hill, we'll call it the hill marble. That's the car with the rider in it. The second marble will be the empty car, we'll call it the bumper marble. Your job is to make sure that when the hill marble rolls down and bumps into the bumper marble, the rider doesn't get eaten by the alligator. You'll get to experiment with this model to figure out how to do that. I'll show you how to get started step by step. To build one bumper coaster, there are four pieces of the track. So if you're in a classroom, you're going to form a group of four people and each of you will work on one piece of the track. Each of you has a name. So go ahead and decide now who will be Clunk, who will be Boom, who will be Crash, and who will be Pow. If you're working alone, that's okay. You'll be building the whole coaster. When you're done with this step, click the arrow on the right. Okay, get these supplies. Clunk, you're going to be making track one. Boom, you'll make track two. Crash, you'll make track three, and pow, you'll make track four. But just get these supplies for now. Don't start building yet. We'll show you how to get started in the next step. Okay, to get started, each person needs to fold their section of the bumper coaster. Even though everyone's tracks look really different, they all have a line running right down the center of the paper. What we're going to do is line up the edges and the corners of each paper and fold down the center of that line, just like you see here. Once you do that, make a nice crease using your fingernail. Okay, go ahead and do this now. Now this next step is just for crash and pow. Boom and clunk, you can watch what they're doing and help them out. Crash and pow, on your track pieces, notice that there are these circles. We're gonna poke holes in these in order to give the marbles somewhere to sit on your track. To do that, slide the paper so the circle is slightly off your desk. Then, keeping one hand on the table and holding the paper in place like this, take your pencil and use it to carefully and slowly poke a hole in the circle. It takes a little effort because you'll be poking through two pieces of paper. Be sure to do this for every circle on your track. Now let's get back to your tracks and make them sturdy. What you'll want to do is fold them in half just like this. Make sure to line up the corners and the edges before you press down. Then, use your fingernail to make a really good crease. It should look like this when you're done.
Okay, now to create the sides of your tracks. You're going to want to fold each side so that it just barely covers the image of the track, like you see here. You'll press down and use your fingernail to make a really good crease. Notice that the track should be pretty stiff at this point, so you might have to press down hard. Then repeat this on the other side like this. When you're all done, it should look like a U shape, like this. All right, boom. You're gonna have to do something special to your track since it's at the bottom of the hill. Find the two dotted lines on the end of your track right here. Cut them like this. Just be careful not to cut on the thick black line. Okay, as you cut on those dotted lines, when you're done, fold the black line like this. All right, fold it in both directions, and it should look like this when you're done. Now it's time to start combining your track pieces. Clunk and boom. You'll want to find the triangles at the end of your tracks and put them near each other like this. Then. Get four paper clips ready. Crash and pow, you'll look for the diamonds on your tracks. Put them near each other like this, then you'll get four paper clips ready as well. Okay, now we're going to connect the tracks. Clunk and pow, each of you find the track pieces that have the solid black shape. Clunk, yours is the solid black triangle. Pow, yours is the solid black diamond. Open these track pieces up like this. Then, slide in the other track that has the same shape. But as you do this, only slide it until you cover up the gray area, like this. Boom and crash, while Clunk and pow hold the connected pieces together, you're going to add each of the four paper clips to the tracks. To connect the track, you'll want to slide each paper clip over the paper clip marks, like this. Okay, last but not least, time to create the alligator. Here's how to do it. Crash, you'll roll this sheet of paper up like this so that you cover the striped lines. Then, pow, you'll put one paper clip here near the stars. Then, pinch down the gray bar like this. And after you do that, attach two more paper clips just like this. When you're done, it should look like this, with one end closed and the other end, the alligator's mouth, wide open.